What's up, gal? Ash here, back and get with another one. So today we're gonna be talking about one of the tactics that the narcissist loves to use after a certain point in time, or even just period. And it's something called the reverse Hoover. Now, um, before I get to explaining what this is and how what it looks like, please hit the like button, share, subscribe, comment down below if you have any comments as far as your situation or any situation that you may have known of of somebody else or any type of encouraging words, you know, for people to read, anything like that down below, please, and subscribe. Thank you. So, the reverse Hoover, what is that? Um... Basically, the reverse Hoover is the narcissist using ghosting and disappearing as an emotional manipulative tactic to torture you even more than they have been doing already. Now, let me explain to you how this works. So, say for example, um, you and the narcissist, you're having issues in your marriage or in your relationship, whatever. And they might be 100% incorrect. They're in the wrong for a fact. They know it. You know it. But, of course, they're not going to show it. So they use this reverse hoover, a.k.a. ghosting, not talking to you, stonewalling. They use this as a tactic to punish you for calling them out. Because how dare you? How dare you call me out for my wrong? How dare you hold me accountable? How dare you? So you know what I'm going to do? Because I know you love me, because I know you care about me, because I know you want me to talk to you, or I know you want me to to be physical with you as far as, you know, intercourse or whatever the case may be. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to ignore you. I'm going to ghost you. That's the reverse hoover. They do that because they want you to chase them. Now, with narcissists, they only chase you up to a certain amount of time. They chase you up until they know they have you where they want you, which is you love them, you care for them, you'll do anything for them, you, you know, you, you'll take care of them, the kids, whatever the case may be. Once they know that they have you wrapped around their finger, that's the spot they want you. And if they know you're in that spot, that reverse hoover is going to work perfectly for them because they already know how your emotions are. Now, the narcissist has been studying you for a very long time doesn't matter how long you've known them they for whatever the duration of time that you've known them or they have known you they have been studying you they know your buttons they know what triggers you they know what makes you unhappy they know what makes you upset and they're going to poke at that and one of those things is most likely ghosting you but first of all ghosting would trigger anybody so that's one of the things that they're going to use see dealing with a narcissist is nothing but a psych game it's a psych game if you are a psychologist and you know body language, you know about the human bodies and the reactions of body language and all that such sorts, you already know that ghosting is going to make someone upset. It doesn't matter who you are. You're gonna, the person is automatically going to think, yo, why did this happen? Why did they ghost me? Why is it this? Why is it that? But it doesn't matter how long they may think it, they're, going to, they're still going to think, why is it like this? Why is it like that? So that is why the narcissist use the reverse hoover. They ghost you. They'll stop calling. They'll stop texting. They'll stop coming around. They'll stop being there for you as frequent. And there's no telling how long they'll do this for. Because it's all a punishment for simply maybe calling them out for something that they did. Or something wrong that they've done to you. That they're just like, how dare you try to punish me? Or how dare you try to hold me accountable? And it's like, it's it's silly because it's like, you did something wrong to me. Wouldn't you want to be held accountable or shouldn't you be held accountable? No. Narcissist and accountability don't match. They will never, ever hold themselves accountable for anything. Anything. If it regards to them looking a certain way, that's negative. Best believe they're not going to tie themselves to it. And they damn sure don't want you to tie themselves to it. And if you dare to ever call them out, especially around other people, oh yeah, it's over. They're going to punish you by what? Using your emotions against you. Because they know you care. And sometimes they'll even use the kids against you. You know how you have some situations to where one parent is talking crazy about the other parent to the kids? And it's like, why are you doing that? Because they want you to look in a certain light. And they use that simply because... 
they know that's another thing they know how you feel about them kids so because you feel a certain way about that kid or them kids they're gonna tell them yeah you know marcus he ain't shit don't talk to him uh don't allow him up in here you know yeah and you know his new girlfriend is just, or or you already know your daddy ain't shit they gonna do that why because they they know you the mommy they know how you feel about them kids but they're gonna use that and that reverse hoover is literally the perfect perfect strategy for them and they're going to who there's no telling how long they'll do it some some narcissists out here they'll do it for years literally be caught and then they'll pop back up like nothing happened hey big head hey how you doing how are you oh my god it's been so long and it's like so you're gonna sit here and act like this didn't happen like we didn't just go through this like you oh i don't know what you mean i, I don't remember they know exactly what they did they know exactly why they did it and they're never like i said accountability and narcissists do not match so i'm here to tell you guys do not fall for this reverse hoover because they want you to chase them they want you to be the one and say you know what i'm gonna call her and and ask her why she hasn't been talking to me i'm gonna call him and, and ask why like where did you go like why because they know that if you're the one that's chasing them and you're the one that's trying to make things better or you're the one that's trying to go towards them to try to figure out things happen they know yep it's working it's working i got them right in my hand i got them right here palm of my hand i got them where i need them i got them where i want them and that feeds that ego of theirs it feeds the ego to the point of no return but like i said don't fall for it honey sis ma'am sir do not fall for it because that's exactly what they want so what you need to do in this reverse hoover time this is where you need to discard them if they want to leave and they want to go with you allow them to do it yes allow this is this is the time where you take this time of where they're going doing whatever the fuck with whomever the fuck you take this time and you take that energy and put it into yourself you give that love to yourself all that love and attention and time that you've been putting into them this whole time put it into yourself and once you do that you don't even you wouldn't even care that they left you probably will be glad they left because you'll realize just how much more peaceful you are just how much more happy you are literally try it try it and you let me know how it works i'm telling you you sometimes you'll feel it immediately because all that negative energy that they be sending towards you or they be sucking the good out of you just to give you back negativity all that positivity that you have in yourself authentically is going to be there so with that being said you guys do not allow this narcissist to ghost you to bother you as much as they wanted to don't do it just handle your business go to work take care of your kids take care of yourself and you'll be just fine and i guarantee you they'll be running back and if they don't thank you just thank god and keep it moving because they weren't meant to be in your life anyway they weren't supposed to go with you wherever you're supposed to be going in life and they damn sure don't deserve you so with that being said you guys thank you so much for watching my video i really appreciate you guys don't let these reverse hoovers mess you up don't do it thank you for watching this video make sure you like comment share and subscribe and i'll see you in the next one bye